What's up everybody? Master Reactor here and today I have a replay. Um, my deck has been running really fucking good, not gonna lie. I've won seven in a row, six on the ladder, one for the Cypher Tournament versus Tiso. Um, we're gonna do the replay versus Knowledge. He was on straight Chaos Turbo. So this game went to a game four. So let's check out the um, gameplay here. If you want to see this deck, on um, the recent, the last video I posted, I did the card by card, but I'm not going to do it on this video. So I throw scissors, he throws paper, so I get to go first. You'll love to see it. Let's see what happens. All right, I open Jar, Card Destruction, Sangin, Solemn, Sukiyomi, and Trap Dust Shoot. Hand is um, pretty damn good. It's not bad, but I decided just to set Sangin, set Solemn, set Jar, and set Dust Shoot. And set card destruction in case he has duo. He's got all brown. He is in brown town all the way. Straight Mons. He's got Deco, Night Assailant, Thunder Dragon, Fate, Chaos Sork, and Spy. I decided to put the Chaos, I meant the um, Thunder Dragon back. Just don't want him to really go through his deck, then his deck, and he, he sets his Deco and he passes. I really thought this was um, Spy. So I hit him with a jar of greed, and I draw Solemn for turn, and I draw Upstart for the jar of greed. And then with Upstart, I draw Pot of Greed, which is pretty nice. I draw onto Tribe and a Wing Blast. Decide just to run out Tribe, hoping that it's, whatchamacallit, that it's Spy. But unfortunately, it's Deco, so he draws Sword. I set the Wing Blast into Solemn, and I just pass. He draws into a jar of greed. He sets Night Assailant and sets jar of greed and passes. I draw onto another Upstart. I fire it again, and now I flip Sangin and decide just to go for the knock here. It is Night Assailant. That really did suck. I did not like that at all. I get in for the 2600. He takes it, put him at 74, and I pass. He draws Heavy Storm, which is a pretty damn good draw for him, not going to lie. He jar agrees into a tribe. He fires the Heavy Storm. I have the Solemn Judgment here. If not, the game's pretty much over with, but unfortunately it's probably over. Anyways, he sets one. I'm thinking that it's fate. I draw into another Solemn. Maybe I could have, like, set him back a turn or some shit. But I decided just to go to battle, hoping that, it, again, it's five, but he's just not setting spy at all. So it's a fate. He gets back his heavy. That sucks. I set Solemn, and I just pass. He draws into BLS, so he's got pretty much everything he needs. He tries to heavy me. I have to solve him again, putting me down to 2k. He banished the dark, banished the light, and he drops Sork. I have to solve him again, putting me down to 1,000. So really low. I have all three Solomons, though, played back to back to back. I draw into Ring of Destruction. I decide just to go to battle here, run into what I think is Spy, which it is. And then I just discard the Ring because it's pretty dead right now. And I decide just to summon Tsukiyomi and decide to put the Sangin down. I do this because... I think if he draws Thunder Dragon, he could have another Sork or something. He does top deck into Ring, which is really unfortunate. So he just summons Tribe, goes to battle, hits me. I grab Mask of Darkness. He sets one, he activates Ring, and that is the game. So he gets me there really good. Top decking pretty nice there. Every card he needed. So we'll go to game two. I get to go first this game. Let's check it out, see what happens. This game I open pretty busted here. Fate, Mirror Force, Car Destruction, Mask, Upstart, and Pot. I upstart into Duo. I shotgun the Duo right away on him. I roll a 6, and then I roll a 4. I pick his Fate, and he throws that Upstart. I Pot Agreed into another Fate and a Tribe. So really nice. I decide to set the Fate and set the Mirror Force and just pass. He draws into Duo. He hits me with a Knock. Um, crazy he's only on one fate. Like, I just thought that was just crazy, but I guess he does fire the duo here. So it's like, okay, he's still drawing every card he needs. He gets my tribe, and I throw out card destruction. He summons Reaper. Tries to get in for the 300. I just mirror force it. Not going to lose a card. I draw into Graceful, which is pretty damn nice here. So I decided to set the fate, though, and I just pass. I don't activate Graceful yet. I want to find like a Thunder Dragon or something here. I do draw a Breaker, so I decided to set the Graceful first, flip the Fate. He solemns this, so I'm like, okay. 
probably should have something breaker, but I didn't want to run into um whatchamacallit into a torrential so or a trap dust shoot. So I decided to discard the breaker in the trap dust shoot. And I set Mask of Darkness, set Solemn, and just pass. He draws into MST, he pops my Solemn. He flips a spy, gets another spy, goes into my mask. I grab back Solemn Judgment, and now it's time for me to top deck. I draw into VLS, I have the Dark and Light, so I'm like, all right, let's fucking go. Banish the Dark, Banish the Light, get in for the damage. He has no cards now, and I have a soul. So I set Solemn, set Deco, and just pass. He draws into Heavy, and that is game two. So we go on to game three now. Let's fucking go. BLS off the top. That was pretty nice. So he gets to go first. He opens. Pretty busted. Knight of Salem, Upstart, Solemn, Deco, Sork, Card Destruction, and BLS. Well, he draws the BLS off the Upstart. He decides to set Solemn and set Deco and just pass. My hand is pretty um, Mon heavy here. I've got Thunder Dragon, Upstart, Chaos, Sork, Faith, Knight of Salem, and Mask of Darkness. So I decided just to discard the Thunder Dragon. My next card was my control, so I'm kind of upset I didn't just fire the upstart. But you never want to do that because you're going to draw the Thunder Dragon when you do that. So I decided just to set Deco and just pass. I can't really do much. He draws into a really good card here, Thunder Dragon. So it's like, all right, how am I going to come back from this shit? The man has got everything he needs here. I think he probably misplays here. Like, I would have just probably just went for it. Something different he did. But he flips Deco. Draws into Upstart, fires the Upstart, draws into a Spy, and he goes right to battle, hits my Deco, I get the draw, I draw Solemn, he sets Spy and passes, I draw into a Wing Blast here, I decide just to drop the Sork here and banish the Deco, just want to get rid of his, his Dark, he does activate Solemn Judgment on the Sork though, so I don't think this was like the correct play, but he made it, so... Then I decide just to set Solemn, set Wing Blast, and set Mask of Darkness and just pass. He draws into a knock, which is really nice here. He knocks me, and I just right away Solemn Judgment. So yeah, he could have literally just killed me this turn, but um, spoiler alert, I won this game. So I won this match, I mean, not this game. So we're on game three, so what could have happened for me to win? So he tributes the um, spy for the Thunder Dragon here, and he just banished the dark, banished the light, and he banishes my sword, I mean my uh, mask, and he gets in for 3k, I think. See, I probably would have just card destruction. Eh, maybe not. Nah, I probably wouldn't have card destruction. So I'm at 2000, and he just passes. I top deck into Graceful Charity, which is really fucking clutch here. Definitely needed. I draw Kaiku, Mirror Force. And BLS, so I'm like, hell yeah, let's fucking go. Let's do this. Decide just to discard the Night of Sail and the Faith and get the Faith back. And now I decide to activate this Wing Blast. And I put the Thunder Dragon back on top just so we can dead draw it. Which I think is just like the correct play. So then I drop BLS on him. And I summon Kaiku. I go to battle. I hit the spy in the BLS, and then I run into the deco, and I banish the spy in his BLS. I set the mirror for him to pass. He draws into what we know as Thunder Dragon. He fires the card destruction because he feels like he has to, um, because he couldn't couldn't do anything with Kaiku. So he draws into Heavy Sword Breaker and Sinister, and then he gets his deco back. I draw Pot of Green and Snatch. He heavies me, gets my mirror force. That sucks, because if you wouldn't have drew heavy, you would have tried to run into this Kaiku, and I could have just mirror forced it. But instead, he gets in for the 100, and then main phase 2, he drops the Sork on me, banishing my BLS. So we're in kind of a bad spot, but we do have Pot of Greed and Snatch, so it's not that bad. He does not know that. So I draw into Wing Blast Return, check for a Sinister, don't have it. I Pot of Greed into Jar Greed and Knock, which is pretty damn mid, to be honest. That sucked. Decide just to fire the Snatch Steel, obviously, and he already has Darks and Graveyard, so I just get in for the damage here, the 400, and I set Wing Blast, set Jar, and pass. He draws into another Deco. He gains his 1,000. He sets his Deco and passes. Um, maybe I should have just, like, Wing Blasted this. Jar agreed. Yeah, I fucking probably fucked up, but I have real control over this game. 
So I just hit him with a knock here. Knock his last eco. And at this point, I don't set the mask because I don't want him to, um... Whatchamacallit, I don't want him to just draw a ring and just win, so I want to have something to discard. But I just gamble here and just say that's not ring, and I don't use anything, and then I draw a ring, so that kind of sucks. I just go to battle and swing, which probably was a misplay, probably shouldn't have done that. And then I just set the mask and pass. It was knocked, he draws into solemn judgment. So now he's got a lot of life points here, he knocks my mask, I hate that, but I ordered the other one out. He sets one and sets Sinister and passes, and now I think this is ring, so I just put that back on top here. I top deck into Sukiyomi, and I'm like, alright, let's fucking go. Put that down, flip it back up, go to battle, swing into what I know Sinister, hit him for 2300, put him down to 21, and I just pass. He draws into Soul of Judgment, gets a Sinister back. He sets the Solemn and sets the Sinister. I draw into Sangin, and I'm just like, I'm going for game here. But he does have the Solemn Judgment, so that's fine. Now we're both at 10.50, so now he can't just top deck ring. And he draws into a Regeki Break. And he sets it. I should have probably read that was Regeki Break right there, but oh no, it wouldn't matter. Never mind, what am I saying? So he just fires the Regeki Break right away, which waited for me to summon, which is a great play. I set the Mind Control, set the Tsukiyomi. And then he does top deck into the ring, so it's like, must be fucking nice. He sets the ring, sets the sinister and passes. I draw on the sort. And I have only pretty much one play here, just to take the sinister. And then I flip up my Tsukiyomi and go to battle. And he rings, and it is a tie. So that was real unfortunate that he got that lucky and drew that. Maybe I misplayed a little bit there. Probably should have, um... I don't know what I could have done differently, looking at it now. Maybe I could have done a few different plays, but we go to a game four. I throw paper, he throws rocks, so I get to go first. You'll love to see it. I'm like, hell yeah. So I open pretty fucking busted here, not going to lie. open Snatch, Pot, Solemn, Upstart, Sinister, and Ring. I fire the Upstart, and I draw into a Deco. And I fire Pot of Greed into Chaos Sword and Wing Blast. So I got all kinds of good shit here. I set the Deco, set Ring, set Solemn, set Snatch, and set um, Wing Blast. Yeah, so I got four back throws. I do this because I don't want him to duo me here. And I don't want Trap Brushy to go off. So he upstarts. He draws Double Solemn, Breaker, Chaos Sword, Torrential, and Upstart. He upstarts into Night Assailant and summons Breaker. I instantly just bring the book at 74 now. He sets Torrential and both Solums and passes. I draw into a Mask of Darkness here. And this is where like I kind of probably misplay a little bit. But I was just reading that this this one of these were um Trap Dust Shoot. So I decide just to flip set the mask first and then flip Deco. And then I just solemn the torrential and he solums. So this is fine. He gets a plus one on me here because I use three cards, but he doesn't really get any plus because I get back my um, card anyway. So it just went even, and I made him burn his Solemn in his Torrential, so I was fine with this. Beside just the Wing Blast, put the card back on top. It is a Solemn. I discard the Thunder Dragon to grab two more. And I just drop Sork here and go to battle. He's at 14. He draws to a Solemn Judgment, and we go back on top. He sets Night Assailant and sets Solemn and passes. I draw into... I don't I don't fire the... Um, I don't get the Senator back because I still think that it could be... Um, whatchamacallit. Could be Trap Dust Shoot. So he draws to a Knock, which is pretty dead. He sets the Knock and passes. I draw into a Night Assailant, which again is pretty damn dead. I grab the Sinister back. Decide to just summon Sinister, get him for 300. He takes it, put him at 400. He draws in the BLS, which is pretty dead because he doesn't have a light and dark. And he just rage quits. Because all he had was knock set. So that is the replay, everybody. Um, I came back pretty well. He beat me game one. I beat him game two. He got lucky and tied game three. And then game four, I just fucking... I don't know if I, I mean, I might have got a little lucky, probably, 
him not having a light was pretty damn nice. Not gonna lie. But, um, that's just the way it is, though. The deck is really fucking good. Um, I'm just hoping that I have good results in the next tournament that I play. The next major tournament with this deck might tweak it just a little bit, but not really sure. So, y'all hit the like, hit the sub. Y'all have a good day or night. Peace out. Bye.